2020 March 16. Daily Bread Passage. Daniel chapter 10 verse 1 through chapter 11 to 1. Key verse. Verse 12. Title, Daniel is given a revelation. Bible Passage. In the third year of Cyrus king of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel, who was called Belshazzar. Its message was true and it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. At that time I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. On the twenty-fourth day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen, with a belt of fine gold from Euphaz around his waist. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision, those who were with me did not see it, but such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. So I was left alone, gazing at this great vision, I had no strength left, my face turned deathly pale and I was helpless. Then I heard him speaking, and as I listened to him, I fell into a deep sleep, my face to the ground. A hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. He said, Daniel, you who are highly esteemed, consider carefully the words I am about to speak to you, and stand up, for I have now been sent to you. And when he said this to me, I stood up trembling. Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future, for the vision concerns a time yet to come. While he was saying this to me, I bowed with my face toward the ground and was speechless. Then one who looked like a man touched my lips, and I opened my mouth and began to speak. I said to the one standing before me, I am overcome with anguish because of the vision, my lord, and I feel very weak. How can I, your servant, talk with you, my lord? My strength is gone and I can hardly breathe. Again the one who looked like a man touched me and gave me strength. Do not be afraid, you who are highly esteemed, he said. Peace. Be strong now, be strong. When he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Speak, my lord, since you have given me strength. So he said, Do you know why I have come to you? Soon I will return to fight against the prince of Persia, and when I go, the prince of Greece will come. But first I will tell you what is written in the Book of Truth. No one supports me against them except Michael, your prince. And in the first year of Darius the Mede, I took my stand to support and protect him. Daily Bread Message 1. The vision of a man, the first group of exiles had returned to Jerusalem by the third year of Cyrus, they meant to rebuild the temple, but the devil hindered this work in every possible way. The real battle was a spiritual one, so Daniel set his mind to gain understanding and to humble himself before God, the vision of a great war terrified him, for he had no strength to fight. But when he sought God with all his heart, one like Christ came and strengthened him, the devil tried to hinder Daniel's prayer by detaining this one who came to Daniel. 2. A healing touch. The man had come to give Daniel God's word and teach him about the future. God is the sovereign ruler of men and nations. Daniel had no strength to listen to God's word, but the man again touched Daniel and gave him strength. Daniel learned that God gives victory when there is one who prays. Prayer. Lord, give me spiritual strength to pray, open my eyes to see Christ. One word. Humble yourself and seek God.